Hi everybody, if you have seen my videos before, then you know that I often test speakers from manufacturers that you may not be familiar with. Today is one of those times. This is the iMystical Intel model number F2 US 24. With a name like iMystical Intel, you might expect creativity, whimsy, or a black rectangle. Like far too many other speaker manufacturers, iMystical Intel uses the all too common black on black, basically unlabeled, basically unusable button motif that's only visible in perfect lighting. They do use fairly standard Bluetooth controls. The middle is play pause. The plus is volume up and next track. The minus is volume down and previous track. What's missing? Hmm. Missing is a power button. Instead, we have a on off switch, which I am perfectly fine with. Then we have a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, USB-C charging port, TF card slot, and U drive port. I do appreciate having all these options when it comes to music sources. Often with less expensive speakers, you don't have these, or if you do, the TF card and the U drive take forever to read the memory. In this case, it's actually fairly speedy. Not the fastest I've seen, but far from the slowest. You also get these little rubber feet on the bottom of the speaker. They usually are there to isolate the vibrations from the speaker from the surface that it's laying on. But in this case, I don't think you're going to be getting that many vibrations. Inside the speaker are dual five watt full range drivers and a passive radiator. Now, given that each driver is only five watts, I'm not sure how much utility we are getting out of that passive radiator. In fact, I would say there is virtually no bass to the speaker, but it can't hurt, right? I have tested numerous Bluetooth speakers at every price point, and it is a common problem to experience distortion at high volumes. You're not going to get that here. Even at maximum volume, there is no distortion on the bass. Granted, there is not much bass either, but at least what you have isn't distorted. Now, on the higher frequencies, it does sound a bit harsh at maximum volume. I wouldn't say distorted, but uncomfortable. The F2 US24 is what I call an entry-level speaker. It is actually quite loud if you are in a small space, but it does not have that full-bodied sound that larger drivers would offer. I do appreciate all of the sound source options, and it, it sounds okay. I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5 star rating. Thanks for stopping by.